In this video today, I'm going to be showing you all how to install Ubuntu Server for ARM and UTM for Mac OS. And all you're going to need for this video today is a copy of UTM for Mac and Ubuntu Server for ARM. And I'll have both of these linked down below. So go ahead and extract the UTM DMG file and add UTM to your applications folder. And then click on the second link and head over to the Ubuntu Server for ARM webpage here. And then scroll down on that webpage and locate the download Ubuntu whatever version is the latest, LTS. And then click that button, and then go ahead and save that to somewhere easy to access. And once the ISO file is done downloading, you can go ahead and close out of your browser. And you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and open up UTM. And into UTM, you're gonna to wanna to create a new virtual machine. Then go ahead and give it a name. You're gonna call it Ubuntu. And then select the style as operating system, and then you can go ahead and select an icon if you'd like. Now head over to the system tab. And for the architecture, select ARM64. And for the system, select QEMU 5.2. And you're also going to want to go ahead and give the virtual machine about half of your total system memory. So if your total system memory is like 8 gigs, you're going to want to give the virtual machine 4 or if your total machine memory is 16 gigs, you're gonna to wanna to give the virtual machine around eight gigs of virtual memory. Now head over to the drives tab, and you're gonna to wanna to create a new drive and select the interface as Virtu.io and make the size of that virtual drive at least 10 gigs. And then once you've typed in the size, press create. Next up, we're gonna to wanna to create another drive, but this one is gonna be an installation disk. So we're just gonna to wanna to check removable then make sure the interface is, is set to USB. Now you can save the VM and then go ahead and select it in your UTM sidebar. Now on your Ubuntu virtual machine setup page here, scroll down and locate the CD DVD selection. Click that and then click browse and then select the Ubuntu ISO that we downloaded a moment ago. Now press the big play button to start up the virtual machine. And if some of you get this error here, it's basically saying that your version of macOS does not support GPU acceleration. And if you did not get this error, don't worry, you can just continue on with the setup as normal. But if you don't want to update your Mac, I'll go ahead and show you a quick bypass to this. So we go ahead and press OK. Go up to the settings in the top right. Then you go over to display. And then instead of having the emulated display card, one that has GPU supported after it, you're just gonna to wanna to select the one above it, which should be Virtue IO RAM FB. Then just go ahead and save that. And you can now boot up your virtual machine without GPU acceleration. Go ahead and press enter on install Ubuntu server. Now continue with the setup as you wish. On this page here, just use the down arrow to go down to done and press enter. Press done again. And now it's going to go ahead and format your virtual drive. Just press continue. And you can also go ahead and give your computer a name. Once you've entered all these credentials here, just press done. And if you know what SSH is, go ahead and check this box here. But if you don't, you can just click done on the bottom because you won't really need it for the virtual machine, I guess. And on this page here, just go down with the down arrow again, and then just select done. And after just a bit of time, you should now see the option to reboot. Go ahead and use the down arrow once again, and select reboot now, and press enter. And now that we've installed Ubuntu, we can go ahead and eject the ISO from the CD drive. And all you have to do to do that is up in the top right of the Ubuntu window here. Just look for the CD icon, hover over the ISO, and press eject. And now go ahead and press the restart icon right next to the name Ubuntu on your VM. And if you see a screen like this, you've successfully installed the non-graphical user interface version of Ubuntu. And you can go ahead and finish the video now if you'd like. But for those looking for a graphical user interface, I'll go ahead and show you how to install that real quick now. First up, go ahead and type in your login password, which we just created a moment ago. Once you've logged in, just go ahead and type sudo apt install task at cell, press enter, and then type in your password. 
and then press Y and press enter. Now type sudo task cell install ubuntu dash desktop. Enter. And once the install is completed, just type sudo reboot. And you should now be booted into Ubuntu Desktop, which is the graphical user interface of Ubuntu. Go ahead and log in with your password. And as you can see here, we now have Ubuntu Desktop installed. And yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. So thank you all so much for watching, and hopefully this tutorial was somewhat easy to follow. And as always, feel free to leave a comment down below if you have any problems, and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I can.